Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a boot the latest version of Kali Linux version 2024.1 alongside your Windows 10 or Windows 11. So either you're using Windows 10 or Windows 11, you can do a boot Kali Linux on your computer and you should be able to select between Windows and Linux. Now the first thing we have to do is download Kali Linux installation file. And to do that, let's head to our browser and then head to kali.org. Now click on the download button on your screen and it should take you down here. Now click on installer images so we can download the installer image of Kali Linux and it should take you down here. So you can see Kali Linux 2024.1 change log and you can see the 64-bit installer. Now you have to check if your PC is 32-bit or 64-bit and to do that, now simply head to your search bar. And then search for system information and you should see under system type x64 based pc if it is 32 bit you're also going to see it there as well now we can close this and then click on the 64 bit installer to download and you can see this file size is about 3.8 gigabytes now let's start download i already have this file downloaded so i'm just going to cancel it but make sure you download it after downloading Kali Linux installer file, next thing we have to download is Win32 Disk Imager. And this is what we're going to use to create a bootable media for the installation. So let's search for Win32 Disk Imager. Now click on the link that heads to SourceForge. I'll also provide this link directly in the video description so you can click on it and it will take you directly to SourceForge. And then click on the download button and it should start downloading. After downloading both Kali Linux installation file and Win32 disk imager, we can close our browser and then open our download folder. So here we have Win32 disk imager and we also have Kali Linux installer file. Now we need a flash drive for this installation, at least 8 gigabytes. I have a flash drive of 16 gigabytes which is currently connected to my PC, you can see over here. And we are going to use this as a bootable drive to install Kali Linux. So let's head back to our download folder and then install Win32 Disk Imager. Accept the terms. Next. Install. Now let's launch Win32 Disk Imager. First, we are going to select the ISO file by clicking on the browse icon right here. Locate your download folder. And then click on these options right here and then select the dots option and it should show all your files. Now we can select Kali Linux installer file we downloaded. Open. Now the device right here is our flash drive which we want to use to create a bootable disk. So make sure you're selecting the correct flash. So if I head to this PC, you can see that my pen drive 16GB is my E drive. So make sure it is properly selected E. Now I can click on write and then yes, it is going to erase all data on this flash drive and then convert it to a bootable drive for Kali Linux. Now this should take a while to write the data needed. And it is successful. Now click on OK and then close Win32 Disk Imager. Now we have to partition the drive where we want to install Kali Linux. So let's head to our search bar and then search for disk partition. Click on create and format hard disk partitions. And now we can see the list of all the hard drives on our PC. Now if you look closely, you can see disk 0, disk 2 and disk 3. These three different drives are merged together as a single drive which if I check on my PC, you can see backup 1.36 terabytes, which is three drives of 500 gig each. Then disk one right here is running Manjaro 240 gigabytes. Disk four right here is running Windows 10, which is what we are currently using. Now we could decide to partition Kali Linux alongside Windows 10 right here by right clicking and then click on shrink volume. And then set the amount of storage you want to shrink which we're going to use for the installation but i have just 10 gig available here so i'm just going to use another drive but in your case you may have over 50 60 gigabytes which you can partition to kali linux but in my case i'm just going to partition 
my disk sys which is another drive i have in my pc i just use it for backup of some files you can see right here with 340 gigabytes of free storage available so i'm going to right click on the drive i want to shrink and install kali linux if you have just one drive then just shrink it and then install it but in my case i'm just going to shrink this drive right here i'm going to give it about 100 gigabytes shrink and now we can see a free space of 100 gigabytes unallocated now this is where we are going to install kali linux so now we can close this restart our pc make sure the flash drive is connected and then we can start the installation hold f10 or f12 to show boot options this may be different depending on the pc you're using Now select your flash drive so we can begin the installation. Let's continue with graphical install by hitting enter. Now select the language for the installation and continue. Set your region, continue. Set your keyboard layout and continue as well. Enter your host name. I'm going to set this to Tema. Next. Enter your domain name you have any available or just continue with empty. Now enter a name for this computer. Enter your username as well. And also enter your password. Now select your time zone and continue. Now go with manual so we can select the partition we want to use in installing Kali Linux. Now scroll down and you should find around 100 GB of free space which we erased earlier. Select it and then click on continue. Automatically partition the free space, select that and then continue. All files in one partition, select that, continue. Finish partitioning and write changes to disk and then continue. Select yes to allow permission to write changes to disk, continue and it should start installing the base system. Now select the desktop environment you want to use. By default it is set to XFace but you can either go with GNOME or KDE Plasma. But I'm just going to continue with XFace and then you can click on continue down there. This should take a while but you just have to wait. After the installation, you can click on reboot. And it should restart. Now it should boot directly into Kali Linux and you can see an option for booting into Windows. You can also see an option for my Manjaro and then Kali Linux, which we are going to click on. So we can now log into our Kali Linux machine with our username and password. So basically, this is how to do a boot the latest version of Kali Linux, which is currently version 2024.1 on your Windows PC. You can always select to boot either between Windows or Kali Linux or any other operating system you're running. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.